Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ. All of you, please invite your friends, and let us start uh, the education for today. And if there is any Muslim, he would like to talk to me anytime, please let me know, and we will be happy to have you calling me live on air. Uh, all religions speaking about sin and what we can do with our sin, how we can get rid of it. Muhammad, he have a different way to erase your sin. You know, the Muslims, they pray five times a day. And you might ask yourself, I mean, why, I mean, five times a day? What the purpose of that? I mean, if you pray once a day, will not do. And do we have to do certain moves up and down? And do we have to repeat the same words all our life? And how we can call this a prayer if we are repeating the same thing, which supposedly Allah He said? Prayer is you communicating with the one who you believe is your God. Not repeating what he said to you. You know, when they ask Jesus how to pray, he say, uh, you can pray like this. But doesn't mean you have to repeat what Jesus said. Pray is you pray as you wish. You speak to your Lord. Now Muhammad, he come with his own fantasy. Proving to us that he is a false prophet. He gave us tons of reasons to forgive your sin, and none of them match the other one. Let us start with the Quran. The Quran in chapter 11, verse 114, Muhammad he claimed that when you do a good deed, that will erase the bad deed. And that is very dangerous to believe. That is very dangerous to believe. Uh, somebody says a Christian prince believes in once saved, always saved. I don't know what this guy is talking about. I think this guy he drank too much camera urine. What do you mean once a saved is saved? What does that mean? Is that even in English? Funny people. So when you do a good deed, that one will wipe the evil deed. What does that mean? I can go right now and commit sin and then do something good and then my previous sin is gone because the 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 the, uh, the follow good thing I did. But this is mean we can do sin and we know how we can delete it, just go and do something good after it. I can go steal and then I can give some donation from the money I stole. So the idea of deleting your sin, and by doing what? By doing in the morning, you can pray in the morning, you pray at the night, and then the 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 all your you know like the, this is a good deed, and this good deed will wipe your uh, your bad deeds. How silly! So you can be a criminal who commit all kind of filth. And then you pray in the morning, you pray at night, whatever you do between them is gone. Right? Let us continue. Muhammad, he come with more stuff to forgive sin. But he came with some stuff which is really uh, crazy. Muhammad, he forgives sin himself. Muslims, they say to us that Allah is the only one who forgives sin. The Muslims, they say that uh, we don't believe Muhammad is God. You see, when, when a Muslim, he says to me, how you can prove to me that Jesus is God? One of the proofs is Jesus forgiving sin. And that's what the Bible says. But now Muhammad, 
is a granting forgiveness of sin what that will make Muhammad and look at the funny translation they say I have a granted burden to so and so I rendered your good deeds fruitless who who are you Muhammad to say that you are the one who decide who have a good deed and who is the one who is forgiven hmm? that is silly who is Muhammad isn't it Muhammad that he says that he don't trust Allah and he says that all of you your sin is not going to be forgiven unless Allah warp you with his mercy uh, let us find the hadith one of the signs of false prophet is a speaking with contradiction Let us see. As you see here, Muhammad is asking Allah for forgiveness and asking him not to go to hellfire. That's weird. Why Muhammad is worried about going to hellfire? But let us see here what else Muhammad will say. read with me carefully please Muhammad he said there is none amongst you who his deed alone would attain salvation for him it doesn't say that it doesn't say in the hadith anywhere it says his deeds alone that's a big fat lie in the Arabic it's in front of us it says None of you will be saved by his deeds. None of them. There is nowhere it says alone. You liar in the translation. So let us analyze this hadith. What is the good deed in Islam? Prayer is a good deed. Jihad is a good deed. Cursing the kuffar is a good deed. Even killing a lizard is a good deed. <clears throat> right? Let us find it. Muhammad, he claimed that if you kill a salamander, Mr. Salamander, Allah will give you a lot of deeds so one of the reasons to go to heaven is killing mr. salamander in case you do not know how salamander look like let us introduce him to you salamander If you kill this little tiny animal, the one he can be in the size of your finger, 
if you kill this Allah will give you a lot of deed especially if you shoot him from the first time so in case you do not know that salamander is an enemy for Allah if we go in the hadith Muhammad he claimed that salamander he was trying to burn Abraham by blowing wind on his face and this is a proven to be scientifically accurate actually look at him he looked like a dragon let us see a different picture I'm looking just for a better picture mr. salamander hold on Yeah, look at this one. This one is red. I think this one, this one uh, for sure, Allah want to kill him. Look at this one. It's like maybe uh, two inch tall or three inch. Very, very, you know. So this is the enemy of Allah. And Allah, he made an order, all kind of salamander. that doesn't matter what the color is. Just to take a note. Doesn't matter. We don't think we are show, showing you one. It doesn't matter really. All right. Muhammad he said in different hadith here he explained that he was burning trying to burn Abraham but Muhammad he claimed if you kill salamander from the first shot Allah will give you a special reward uh, <clears throat> Let us see. Here, actually, the story is more clear. Uh, about about uh, this, uh, uh, here the translation, they call him uh, uh, Jigo or Gaigo. This animal, according to Abraham, according, sorry, to Muhammad, is the enemy of Allah. And actually, I can tell clearly that he is very scary to Allah. I don't blame Allah to consider this animal a very, very dangerous. I mean, look how dangerous he is. Hmm? This is the enemy of Allah. And look at this guy. He is like, he's like, hello. You know, you can tell he is. Look at this guy. Look, he, he and now I know why he was blowing fire at Abraham. Look at his, look at this. You see the fire? Do you see the fire in his mouth? Actually, I heard in the old days that cavemen, they used to use, use Geigo as a lighter for fire. Like they get him and they force him to blow uh, Look here, here the, the this this uh, this beast is uh, trying to bite the finger of a human being. Hmm. How dangerous! And this is the one we see in the advertising, Geigo. Do you see him? The enemy of Allah. Now, if you kill this animal, Allah forgive your sin by because simply when you have more deeds, that's mean Allah will like this is how it works. Like let's say you have uh, uh, ten uh, bad deeds, then you make uh, one hundred uh, good deeds. So one hundred minus ten, you have ninety. Let us see if we kill this animal according to Islam, how much deed we will make. Let us see. I'm trying to find the hadith. Here we go. 
the prophet said the prophet said not me he who killed the guy go with the first stroke for him are ordained or, or ordained 100 deeds do you see it if you kill him from the first shot you get 100 if you kill him from the second shot you get uh, maybe uh, 70 if you kill him from the third shot maybe you get 30 so if you want your sin to be forgiven then you have to shoot at this horrible disgusting scary animal so let us make it simple for you for those who don't understand the kuffar the christians and the jews who don't have knowledge only allah has knowledge and the prophet have knowledge in everything this is the most dangerous animal in the world and he is very evil and he tried brother to burn abraham so now muhammad he come with a solution for your sin if you shoot this little tiny creature which is in the size of your finger from the first shot you kill him allah will give you 100 deeds he will deposit right away in your account 100 good deeds alhamdulillah if you shoot him from the second time you will get deeds but less not like shooting him from the first time maybe maybe i'm assuming maybe i'm not sure because muhammad did not say how much the second shot will be maybe 50 i'm not sure 50 deeds if you shoot him from the second time but if you shoot him and you kill him from the third time which means after three shot you were able to kill maybe you will get 20 i'm not sure or 30 30 deeds so if i spend my life chasing this little tiny animal i can make a lot of deeds in my account of deeds in the bank of allah have you ever heard of a way better than this way to forgive your sin and notice here how dangerous the mission if you shoot this little tiny animal by the first shot allah give you 100 deed so killing him from the first shot is very important if you want to really reach the maximum like uh, you get the jackpot if you are shooting him and you killed him from the second shot like you are uh, you are not a good muslim <laughs> you know like <laughs> what's wrong with you huh so Allah will not give you equal D to the first one who killed him from the first shot. Any Muslim can tell us why. Why if I kill him from the first shot, I get 100 deeds. If I kill him from the second shot, I get less deed. And if I kill him from the third shot, I will get the lowest deeds. Why? Any Muslim? This is how we can overcome our sin in this cult by chasing this little tiny poor animal and this little tiny poor animal is the one who tried to burn Abraham and you Muslims believe in that he look like a dragon to be honest with you obviously he's dangerous look at this What's wrong with Muhammad? Muslims, what's wrong with Muhammad? Don't you think that Muhammad is making fun of you? 
the one who okay you know what here I will show you something stupid about Muhammad anyone remember I mentioned before that Muhammad the Muslim they say to you is it the Muslim they say to you that uh, uh, nobody should pay for the sin of somebody else isn't this what they say nobody should pay for the sin of somebody else correct this is what they say they say to you why Jesus had you know why he died for our sin this is not even fair everyone have to die for his sin based on this story Muhammad believed that the animal this animal he is a sinner but he is not the one who commit the sin it was his grand 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 grandfather so how you say that everyone should pay for his sin and then you order the children or the babies of the animal who you accuse him of burning Abraham which is funny to be killed you idiot are you getting my point if we should pay for our sin okay this guy he have nothing to do with the one let us assume that the story is a true that there is a uh, there's a lizard who tried to burn Abraham okay what about that that one is the one who commit the sin why you want to kill his babies Islam is nothing but a chain of stupidity They say to you, it is not fair that Jesus, he paid for your sin. He did not commit the sin. Why he will pay for it? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? The story did not stop here. And the stupidity is not over yet. Let us continue, shall we? <clears throat> Let us go. In the Quran, we find many verses speaking that no one shall pay for the sin of somebody else. Chapter 6, verse 164, chapter 17, verse number 15, chapter 35, verse number 18, chapter 39, 7, and chapter 53, 38. Let us take the shortest. No soul should carry the sin of somebody else. As simple as that. Muslims, do you agree with this? Do you agree with this? Hmm? Who is a Muslim? He want to say this is perfect. By the way, I'm not against this. You see, when we as a Christian we say Jesus, He paid for our sin, it does not mean we don't do have sin and we might not go to hell. We Christian don't believe in that. It doesn't mean that we Christian we can do sin and that's it. We are going to heaven because Jesus He died. That's the false interpretation of Islam for what we say. That Jesus died because of our sin why Jesus came to this earth to save us so if we are not doing sin Jesus will not be here this is what we meant by Jesus died for our sin because of our sin he, he he came here but doesn't mean if he die automatically I'm going to go to heaven and I can do whatever I want because he died for my sin this is not what Christianity is about this is why Jesus said not everyone says to me God God or Lord Lord Will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will so yes he died but doesn't mean I have a license for sin it is in Islam that you have a license for sin and we will prove it in a second so look at the verse here saying that no soul should be paying for the burden or the sin of different soul we can change the translation if you don't like this translator we have many liars here choose any one of them and we will show it to you in the screen. Any translation you wish. All right. Now, 
Look how Muhammad he said that no soul should pay for the sin of different soul and look what he say here in this hadith <clears throat> Sahih Muslim and this is a Sahih hadith so the Muslim cannot say ah, it's a skinny there's no enough uh, fat on it Sahih Muslim hadith number 2767D Muhammad said the world come they, they would come people among the Muslims on the day of resurrection with as heavy sin as mountains and Allah would forgive them and he would place it or place in there in, in their instead the Jews and the Christians do you see how big fat liar this prophet a second ago he said that no soul should pay for the burden or the sin of someone else do you see it just a second ago now he said that the Muslims will come with sin like mountains not like a sin, two sin, three. No, 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 like mountains. Allah will take their sin and He will place it on the Christians and the Jews. So, what we find here that Allah not only is a scammer, He's a prophet, is a bigger scammer. For this is a contradiction. Secondly, so why you are telling me if I kill a guy, go, I will get 100 deeds. What the benefit of deeds anyway? If my sin is forgiven. Why you are asking me to pray five times so I can get deeds? If in the day of judgment, Allah will take the sin of the Muslims and he will put it in the Christian and the Jews. And how much hate behind this statement? And how much unjust and how much ugly the God of Islam? Hmm? Any Muslim have a comment? Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim want to show me something smart about his prophet when he speak about justice? Forgiveness. Anyone? So all the teaching in the Quran is a fabrication and Muhammad is a big fat liar. What kind of a Christian theology I am teaching? Let me tell you what kind of Christian theology I'm teaching. I'm teaching them that you are a donkey and you are trying to change the topic because you are ashamed of your cult. Because I'm talking about Islam, yet you speak about Christian theology. You are terrified, my friend, from what I'm showing in the screen. So you are trying to divert our topic. You are ashamed. You don't even dare to change your diaper right now. It is too wet and too late. And don't put your hand there. It smells so bad. And if you are a man, give me a call life on air and let us see how brave you are. Uh, here we go. We have ultimate fart. Ultimate fart is here. He want to call me in pal talk. Last time we opened pal talk for him, he did not call. I will give you a chance. Hold on. Wait for ultimate fort. <clears throat> okay, ultimate fort, call me.
Are you there? My pal talk is open. Here we go. I am online. Call me. <clears throat> Who is a brave Muslim? Yeah, this is the guy who said uh, Muslim scholars are liars. <laughs> and this is the guy who said to me, read the Quran of what his name? What's his name? The one who was killed in uh, in Arizona, the one who corrupt the Quran. Uh, the one who came with the number 19. What's his name? Uh, he accept the corrupted Quran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rashad Khalifa, Rashad Khalifa. <laughs> Unbelievable. Who is a brave Muslim? He is willing to call me. Any Abdul? Hmm? Any Muslim? Let us continue. So here you see Muhammad, he is proving that he is a liar because he just said something opposed what he said before. And as long Allah will take the sin of the Muslims anyway and he will place it on the Christians, so what the point of a praying, doing Hajj, paying in Muhammad Zakat? What the point of doing Jihad? If your sin is forgiven anyway, unless I, I pay for it, that's not a true. Pal Talk is a free program. You pay only, you pay only if you don't want to have ads in your page. You know, don't lie. Pal Talk is for free. No payment. There's a premium. The premium pay, uh, uh, membership. Is for those who want to have, like, they want to go and have uh, live cameras, etc. This is the premium, but to make a voice call or text, it's free, and you are a liar. Do we have any brave Abdul? Why? Why we pray? Was Muhammad himself forgiven? Did Muhammad kill any guy go? And Allah give him a lot of good deeds. Hmm. Let us see how easy it is to go to heaven in Islam. The Prophet said, Whoever perform a pollution and does it well, and then say three times, Ashhadu la ilaha illallah. وَأَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ زَرِيكَ لَهُ وَأَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ What? What is that? That was the guy go taking shahada. If you say this three times, witnessing that there's no God but Allah, and you have to associate the name of Muhammad with the name of Allah, if you say that three times, what will happen? What will happen, brother? The cave of Alibaba will open. Read with me. He said, if he say that, eight gates of paradise will be open for him. Uh, hold on, Muhammad. I thought there are seven gates. Did you add one? Uh, they are eight now? Oh, there's no screen? Hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry it's my fault. All right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. Strike a guy go. So the prophet says, whoever say this three times, how many times? You see the Muslim, they say, you Christians are people who believe the Trinity, but Muslims are people of the Trinity. Everything in Islam is based on number three, including salvation. The gates of heavens, eight gates of heavens, eight. And brother, brother, uh, eight gates of heaven uh, that I will open and which one I will enter brother I will enter from the eight gates <laughs> so here if you say this in Arabic you have to say it in Arabic don't ever try to say it in Indonesian brother 
or don't try to say it like uh, in English, like Zachary Naik, brother Sita, the prophet said, and this is very authentic, that if you say Tahada Tlitam, Allah will open the eight gate of heaven for you. Another example, every day I go to the toilet, and I even I don't touch the bathroom toilet, and I say, and the bathroom toilet open for me. Eight bathroom toilet open for me. Just by saying those words in Arabic, eight gates of paradise will open for you. Why? Hmm? Brother, why? This is how easy. What will happen if I say it four times? Muhammad, he always say things three times. Let us see. If I do jihad, Allah forgive my sin. But what will happen to me? You believe it or not, I will become a, par a parrot, what they call it, parrot, the green bird. Hold on, let me, let me see. What they call this green bird, the uh, parrot? Here we go. You want to see how you will look like if you are Osama bin Laden, brother? Believe it or not, it will look like this. This is what will happen to the Mujahideen of ISIS in the heaven of Allah. Allah forgive your sin and he make you a green bird. But I have a problem with this. What I will do with the 70 versions? How I'm going to have boom, boom, boom with them? Am I going to use my uh, peak? So Allah promised me if I die for Allah and do jihad, he will give me a lot of versions. Each one of them, her ass is one mile. And now I am a bird. Question. What I will do next? Any Muhammadan have an idea? I am a bird, but now there is a beautiful woman in the bed and they are naked. What I will do is that something called peak sex, something we are not familiar with yet. Ticklish sex, take a peak. What, what What's wrong with this man? I die for Allah and I kill the infidels for him and then he make me a green bird am I a green bird what about what's wrong what what if what I what why he don't make me a blue what's wrong with the blue look how beautiful this blue bird is cute women they will love you more do we have any Muslim there in the bushes <clears throat> Let us read. We ask Abdullah about the Quranic verses, etc. Blah 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 blah. We ask the meaning of this verse to the Holy Prophet, who said, "The Prophet is explaining the Quran, brother. Please stand up and show respect when the Prophet he is speaking. Everybody stand up. Otherwise, he will send you the Mujahideen." The peacemaker. He said, who he said, Muhammad, not me. Don't blame me. I know you Muslims. 
I know, I know you. I know you, I know you, I know you. He said, the soul of the murderers live in the bodies of a green bird. See? See? I told you. Who have their nest <laughs> I am Osama bin Laden and right now I am in my nest <laughs> unbelievable I'm, 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 I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I guess uh, uh, after I finish with you I will go to my nest sorry <laughs> uh, Unbelievable, I'm going to die from a heart attack from laughing but because of this stupid cult. <coughs> Let me drink something. And guys, each time I read those stuff, I feel like I'm reading it for the first time. It's it's funny like hell. As if I just saw it. Look at this. So now Muhammad is promising you a lot of versions. Each one of them, her ass is one mile. And now you are a green bird and you have a nest? Here we go. I became a murderer for Allah. And this is how I will talk. I will talk to my wives now. And I'm going to invite them to my nest. Take off your panties. Alhamdulillah, I just said shahada in the bird language. What is this? This is what Islam is about. So you give us headache 24 hours, convert to Islam, do jihad for Allah, fight for Allah. So you go, you suicide yourself, you became pieces, and now Allah will make you a chicken, a greeny chicken. Hmm? Any Abdul? Too many Christian in the chat for what? Give the space to Muslims only. Look at this smart guy. As if this is like a small room only, we have a limited number. My friend, bring the Muslims, let them share. Who is stopping the Muslims from coming? I mean, what's wrong with you? Give you space to the Muslims. Why do you think we have limited chairs? This is YouTube. We can have a million people here. I mean, some people are really silly. Should I kick? Some, shall I kick some Christians from the chat just for you yourself? Give space to the Muslims. Hold on. We have ultimate fort. Let me call him. <clears throat> Uh, the stupid idiot each time I call him it says the guy he need to update uh, I mean he is a certified idiot Here we go. I took a snapshot for this donkey He keep asking me to call you know to call him each time. I try to call him it says Are you stupid or what ultimate fault you are doing it on purpose aren't you? How many times I told you you have to update update your you your pal talk? Why you are being stupid? Ultimate fort using an older version of pal talk. Do you see it? So each time I try to call you, you idiot, and you will call and you will say to me, call me and call me and call me, and you will come tomorrow and you will do the same. I think you became a green bird long time ago. Any Muslim here, he have an updated version. Even everything in Islam is outdated. Even their pal talk. Even their pal talk is outdated. Any Abdul? So, brother and sister, if we ask Zakir Naik, what will happen to us when we die for the sake of Allah? Zakir Naik is now making a speech to do jihad against the, the Hindus. Brother and sister, brother and sister, 
Don't you like brother to become a bird? A brother, you will become a bird and he will become an absolutely beautiful bird. Green brother. Green. Ultimate green. What is that? What is this? What a Christian demonation I would recommend. You guys are taking me out of my topic. There's nothing is called the Christian demonation. Christ is not a demonation. Never follow a demonation. Otherwise, you are demolishing yourself. Follow Jesus, my friend. Follow Jesus. Don't be a fool. The man who follow a priest he is a fool. The man who follow a bishop he is a fool. The man who follow even Christian prince he is a fool. You follow Jesus only. That is a Christ, and that is a Christianity. Anything else is not true. Priests are businessmen. They try to divide us. They are the one who divided us. Jesus, he unite us. Follow anything, he unite us with God. And his name only can do that. Don't be a Catholic. Don't be a Protestant. Don't be an Orthodox. Don't be a fool. Be Christian as Jesus, he gave you a name in the Bible. And there's no name better than his name to be called with. If you have a better name, go and call yourself with it. Then you don't belong to Jesus. We go back to the topic. So now, I want to convert to Islam and I will become a murderer and then Allah forgive my sin. Hold on. Muhammad, he said to them, do you wish anything? You are a bird now and he is asking them, do you desire anything in the heaven look the muslims here they they translate the desire as uh, do you like to eat the fruits of paradise it doesn't say that it says do you desire anything but let us go with the translation so you are now a bird in the paradise and muhammad is telling you you can eat from the fruits of paradise that's so beautiful as I know birds they like worms so are you saying to me I die for Allah and then I turn a chicken and then I turn veggie a veggie chicken I will eat only vegetation only fruits no worms no buffet no sausages eating worms for birds is like eating a chicken for a human being Mm. Any Muhammadan? Now, guys, <clears throat> if you remember Muhammad, he said before, let us open the hadith. That in the heaven of Allah, <clears throat> we will find women who Allah will give them to us, and we will be able to see through the marrow of their bones. You remember that, don't you? <clears throat> hmm? Which is very beautiful. Finally, we can see where the women they hide their stuff. If she took your credit card, if she eat your, uh, you know, your uh, your food, your hamburger, she cannot hide it no more. Everything is right there. So look at this. I am a bird. And this is how my wife she looked for me, she looked like for me. Just to give you an idea, brother. How beautiful, how tempting, how zigzy. I am a green bird, 
and now my wife she is doing this I can see the marrow of her bones look at this oof it's getting hot here it's not easy to be single these days a lot of temptation brother look at this unbelievable oof. me so Allah promised me if I die for him Allah will forgive my sin but then he says Allah will put the sin of the, the Muslims on the Christian and the Jews anyway then he says to me if you die I will make a green chicken and then after I became a green chicken Allah will give me this women who I can see their bones any Muslim have a comment Uh, guys, please don't be tempted. Uh, this is just for education purpose. Okay, I know there's a lot of temptation there, especially with the high heels. Look at this. Hmm? Hello? So this is the promise of Allah? I will get this? Was Muhammad serious or he's talking too much hashish? Brother Sitter, the Prophet, he promised us a lot of beautiful brethren. And one of them, when you go to the heaven, brother, you will have women and you will see them through the middle of the bones. And they will look like x-ray. And now, brother, there is a wisdom behind this. Women always, they steal from their husband. They take your credit card. They take your money. And they spend it from behind you behind. And now she cannot do that. Because even if she eat your hamburger, you can see it in her stomach. And this is but because from the mercy of Allah, they cannot see to you no more. That's wonderful. And you are telling me Allah is not God. What's wrong with you? Look at this one. Oh boy. Oh man. I, I, I need to go. I cannot I can't see it no more. Now I know how hard it is to be single. This is my last day in my life as single. I'm going to get married for the first woman she knock at my door. Nobody knocking anyway. Anyone? <laughs> what this guy is talking about? This is a prophet of God and this is what you Muslim believe? That in the heaven of Allah, you will get women who you can see the marrow of their bones. So now you go, you die, you fight, and then you get this. How else Allah forgive our sin, brother? Additional to killing a guy go. <laughs> Let us see. <clears throat> we become birds now. Okay. Okay. All right. When you perform salat and you say, Subhanallah. 30 time and alhamdulillah 33 time and allahu akbar for time 34 time and la ilaha illallah 10 time with that you have suppressed them and you go to paradise this is how you suppressed uh, sin muslims muslims are you serious this is how we destroy our sin by saying those things. Let us get the hadith in a, in, a, in a better place. Hold on. Fantastic. Fantastic. Hmm. Allah Messenger said, 
he who recite after every prayer subhanallah 33 times guys hold on subhanallah 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 i need to drink some water i my look look there's a muslim in the chat he's saying to me cp is a fool i am the fool who is or the one who's saying to you if you say repeat this word 33 times you go to heaven hmm I am the fool. This is your prophet, your respect. So you say subhanallah 33 times, but brother, why 33? I mean again three number, the three number is stuck there. 33. What if we do with 32? Oh, brother, no. It cannot doesn't work, brother. You have to say 33. Okay, what if I do with 34? Sorry, brother. You have to do with 33. Please write down the recipe. Blood and sitter. Light down the recipe because this recipe is the only recipe approved by Allah. We have to say it 33 times. Are you sure? Okay, brother. And then you have to say after you say, Subhanallah. Remember, you have to say it in Arabic. <laughs> you cannot play with Allah. English doesn't work. Chinese doesn't work. Indonesian doesn't work. Indian doesn't work. Don't try. Arabic only. Allah listen only to Arabic. And then, after you say Subhanallah thirty-three time, you have to say the following sentence, brother. What is the following sentence? Alhamdulillah. Write down, brother. Write down. Write, write down the note, brother. Alhamdulillah. Okay, how many times we say it? Again, brother, 33 times, brother. Again? 33 times? Okay. So now we have to say, Subhanallah, 33 times. Alhamdulillah, three, 33 times. What else? Are we done, brother? No, brother. No, brother. You have to say, and after that, Allahu Akbar. 33 time oh, oh are we stuck with number 33 yeah this is the age of jesus you want to get forgiveness remember jesus so now brother you have to say allahu akbar 33 time and complete the hundred look 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 here look at this recipe how complicated it is hold on hold on hold on hold on I mean, things is getting really complicated. It's like a nuclear uh, uh, weapon. You said uh, Subhanallah three uh, thirty-three time. Subhanallah. Take a note, please. And you are telling me that Islam is not a, a very uh, high-tech religion. So you say Subhanallah thirty-three time. Alhamdulillah, thirty-three time. Allahu Akbar. 33 time we are not done brother we are not brother we are not there is one more step brother you have to do you have to complete the 99 by 100 so brother you have to say the following sentence brother and the following sentence brother is as the following you have to say La ilaha illallah wahduhu la sharika lahu ma laku la lula kaka hu ha hu alula hu di ha hu ha wa hu 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 a a u shi go sha sha and then brother after you complete this recipe brother what will happen brother Allah will forgive your sin even if it is large as the form of the surface of the sea allahu akbar allahu akbar shocking allah will forgive his sin even if it is larger than the form from the sur on the surface of the sea see ya 
That's how easy it is. Allahu Akbar 33 time. Alhamdulillah 30 time. Ashadu Allah ila 33 time. Now what is that? And you Muslim believe in this. My Chinese is good, but are you kidding me? I went to China. The second I step in China, I was speaking fluent Chinese. The guy in the airport, he said to me, are you Christian Prince? I answered him saying, which is, I am not Brosley. But imagine if you guys today, you start practicing this, all your sin is forgiven. Even if you are the owner of a Playboy station, Hmm? Any Abdul? This is better than a standalone committee for sure. But the but but, but the sad, you know what? There is a, there is a sad story and a sad side of the story. If I listen to a comedy show, I don't laugh. I don't know. I find them silly. I know what they will say next. I don't enjoy it. And I find them very silly. Now, do we have any Abdul here? Who is a Muslim when explain to us how silly this way to, to, to forgive sin? When Muhammad, he got this recipe from? Is it fabricated? Is it a lie? <clears throat> Don't text me in pal talk unless you are a Muslim. If you are a Muslim, you want to talk to me, you can't text me. If not, then don't. Any Abdul? Hello? What is this? This is your religion? Hmm? This is a religion? I have to say, and why 33 times? Who is the Muslim who tell us what is behind the 33 issue? Why 33? What about 32, 34? Jesus, he lived in this earth 33. 33 years is that why any Muslim if you are here first time don't forget to subscribe and if you are a Muslim don't forget to subscribe and unsubscribe because Allah erased the bad deed by the good deed <laughs> the bad deed is to, to, to subscribe to me and subscribe Allah will forgive the sin of subscribing brother let me show you another way of your sin to be forgiven in the cult who won this hadith here the one we are showing you who won this nobody won it nobody won it none of you want the recipe to make it like a uh, uh, for for your husband Okay, now your husband, he cheated on you and you get him busted. And now your husband, he come home and he says, Subhanallah, 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 Subhanallah. And he stopped junkie like a monkey. Subhanallah, 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 Subhanallah. He said 33 times. And then he says, Alhamdulillah, 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 and then Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, and then you cannot say to him anything. That's it. He's forgiven. Bangu, hello, hello, Allah forgive him. What's wrong with you? He's just to practice the recipe of forgiveness. What's wrong with you? So all brother. Who wanna cheat their wives, brother? You can cheat your wife as much as you wish, brother, before you meet her. Make a video on YouTube saying, Subhanallah, 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 Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. 
<laughs> Unbelievable. I love it. I love it. This is this is a very, very, very beautiful reason. This is my favorite realism, brother. Forgiving sin is easier than washing your paint. Five minutes, we are done. All your sin is gone, even if it is more than the form of the ocean. <sighs> Another way to forgive sin. Let us see. <clears throat> Prophet of Allah. Guys, do you see the birds? How beautiful they are? Do you think those green birds outside they are mujahideen? The same as Muhammad, he said that there will be green birds. I hope not, because I see a green bird outside in my window. Look what the prophet he said. How you can forgive your sin? The Muslims now are going to do in Hajj in Mecca. Two millions will come to visit Mecca. Abdul Rahman, Abu Abdul Rahman said to other person, why? Why? Why do I only see you touching these two corners? Why? I mean, always when you read those story, you have to put emotion there because this is a very emotional moment, brother. He said, I heard. I heard the messenger of Allah saying, touching them erase sins. Uh-oh. What? Hello? If I touch the black stone and the Yemeni corner, they erase my sin? Hmm? Abdul? If I touch two, sin two stones, Touching them, it erase my sin. Any Muslim have a comment? What is this? Isn't it clear that this is a pagan teaching? Muhammad was a pagan man adopting the pagan cult before him. Hmm? Touching stones is going to erase our sin. We have a guy, let's see. Hmm. Let us see if he's a Muslim. All right. Let us call him. Eh, I think this is the same idiot. It says Roman uh, using older version of Palto. What's wrong with the Muslim Abdul? All of them, they are using older version. <laughs> I think this is the same idiot. Uh Any Abdul? Anyone can explain to us why if we touch two rocks, one of them look in the shape of a vagina, our sin is forgiven. Anyone? 
if you are here first time don't forget to subscribe if you are here second time don't forget to unsubscribe if you are here the third time don't forget to subscribe if you are here for the fourth time don't forget to unsubscribe this is how silly the Quran is do you remember yesterday when we spoke about the Quran speaking about uh, the uh, the cave people the, 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 the sleepers where Allah he says some they say they are three and their number four is a dog <laughs> their dog <laughs> unbelievable this Quran is so cute the one who wrote the Quran he have an IQ not even of a kid so the people will now say there are three and their dog is the fourth some they say they are five and their dog is the six and some they say they are seven and their dog is number eight say no one knows their number save Allah <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! What the heck is that? I was going to continue. Like I, I'm so glad Allah did not continue saying. And some they say they are eight, and their dog is nine. And some they say they are nine, and their dog is ten. And some they say they are ten, and their dog is eleven. Okay, what the purpose of this story now? Why well, you are talking about their numbers? If you want to tell us what the number, anyway. Genius. The one who made the Quran is a genius, literally. Who can be genius more than this? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim here? anyone hey a Muslim now he want to ask why you celebrate a Christmas it's a Roman practice no Christmas is not a Roman practice you are a liar if you want to say to me that we are celebrating Sunday which is which is supposedly the holiday used to be for the Sun God well we are not celebrating the Sun God my friend that's your stupidity Anyone knows why Sunday is special for Christians? Anyone knows why? Why Sunday is special for the Christians? Actually, there's a hadith. I can show it to you. Muhammad, he said, Allah, he made the Christian and the Jews misleaded from Friday. When Jesus resurrected, he met with his disciple in Sunday right so we are not celebrating Sunday for it was a Roman day as you claim you idiot that's because of your ignorance any Abdul Anyone? Why Muslims do fasting? Do we really need to do it? First of all, Muslims don't do fasting. This is not fasting. This is eating. You can go right now and search in Google. You will find that I just made a video a few days ago about it. That Muslims, they gain a lot of weight in the month of Ramadan because they eat more. You can search right now in Google, you will find that the price of food skyrocketing in Ramadan. Why? Because there's a high demand. They eat more. So who said they are fasting? Oh, what they do? They switch day and night. That's all. As simple as that. And in the month of Ramadan, Muslims do no work. 
everybody's sleeping everybody even the government offices they open very late and they close very early the whole country is asleep and most of the Muslims in the month of Ramadan they go to Thailand they go to you know sex tourists do we have any Muslim here Anyone want to be a green bird? <coughs> my my throat is dry, so I might close earlier today. I wanted to sing for you guys, but so sadly, Zakir Naik did not show up. Imagine Zakir Naik is uh, singing for us, brother. Saying Alhamdulillah three time, Alhamdulillah three time, thirty three time, Alhamdulillah, thirty three time, Alhamdulillah, thirty three time, Alhamdulillah, la 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 la. That's so good, that's so beautiful. This is how we can. Forgive our sin. So good. I love it. Hello. Your black dog don't like it? For sure your black dog he do not. He's the enemy of Allah. The enemy of Allah, the black dog. Let me show you. Not only the Geigo is the enemy of Allah, the lizard, the salamander. No, black dogs are the enemy of Allah. We ask the Messenger of Allah, what the difference between <coughs> the yellow dog and white dog and yellow dog and black dog? He says, the black dog is the devil. Do you see it? Omar Kamra? Okay, you see, Omar Kamra is a Muslim. He's saying to me, I'm a fool because I'm reading Quran and I'm reading the prophet words. I agree with you. I mean, this is foolish, brother. Thank you, Omar, for supporting my cause. No, Omar, obviously, you agree with me. Why he is saying I'm fool? Because of what I'm saying, and what I am saying is what Muhammad said. So, Omar, he is saying that Muhammad, the prophet of Allah, is a fool. Thank you, Omar. I really appreciate the Muslim Mohammedan support. See, this is what we call decency from behind the curtain. He is supposedly insulting me because he don't dare to insult his prophet. So he said, Christian Prince is a fool. Huh? He cannot express his feeling that his prophet is the fool. So he said, Christian Prince is a fool. But why? Because the Christian Prince is reading what the prophet said. And what the prophet is saying is a foolish. So now he is saying, Without saying it directly, look how smart he is. This guy is like, he must be the cousin of Zakir Naik. Omar, are you the cousin of Zakir Naik, brother? Any Abdul? Anyone? How to call me? You can call me in Pal Talk, but don't call me unless you are a Muslim. We take calls from Muslims. Maybe, maybe, Muslims only. I like their intellect and their high intelligence. If you are far from the Mecca, there is always going to be women or donkey between you and the Kaaba. Yeah, you are right, actually. So, because Muhammad is saying, if you are uh, three things will interrupt your prayer, 
a dog and a donkey and you and here notice Muhammad he put women between between the donkeys and dogs do you see how Muhammad he insult women look three things destroy the Muslim prayer a woman and a black dog and a donkey the donkey is in the left of the screen the dog in the right of the screen and the women in the middle so Muhammad he made women equal to animals hmm? <clears throat> anyone All right, look like we are out of Muhammadan and this is today uh, Our topic was how your sin can be forgiven. By the way, there's many ways uh, Muhammad he repeated uh, You know all of them. They are silly and all of them. They are stupid uh, but today we went from Repeating certain words Allah will forgive your sin if you do ablution Allah forgive your sin uh, Allah forgives your sin in the judgment day and he placed it on the Christians and the Jews even if it's like mountain uh, uh, you know, killing a lizard will forgive your sin. Killing a guy go will forgive forbid your sin. Uh, killing a black dog will forgive your sin. I mean, there is many ways in Islam to forgive your sin, and especially if you are a person doing jihad for Allah, Allah will make you a green bird. Not only he will forgive your sin, which means this is extra reward. And I cannot wait to become a green green bird. And uh, brother Osama bin Laden, right now he is a green bird in the heaven of Allah. All right. What do you want more? So beautiful. Now, don't forget, please, uh, to download my videos right after we finish. And with this, I want to say thank you for being here. If you like to read more and learn more about the cult of Islam, you can get my books from Amazon.com or Amazon Germany or France. Uh, we have it in many languages. Uh, feel free to get the books from there. And uh, we say thank you for your support and your attending. I hope you take notes, you save reference. And I hope the Muslims more and more, they will see how silly the cult of Islam. And they will see that there is no hope. No hope. All of this is a lie. All of this is nothing but a fabrication of a madman. Repeating words will never forgive your sin. That is stupid. That is the most stupid statement for anyone to say. That is even hypocrisy. What kind of God he forgive your sin just for saying some words after all the evil things you did? That is stupid. That's not even fear. That's not even justice. That is silly. So think again. Think again before you practice your pagan cult kissing the black stone, going around the stone, bowing in front of a stone, praying in the direction of a stone. You are following a stone time, stone cave time religion. No salvation and nothing can save you but accepting the Messiah and repenting and changing the way of your life. Live with him, by him, so you can survive. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And see you soon. I hope tomorrow if I can. Thank you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. I mean to that. See you.